It's Josie here. I am back with another thrift haul. Um, as you might know, I love going to thrift stores. I love finding um, cool books in thrift stores, things that I maybe hadn't thought of before, and even things that are on like my lists and my TBRs and my wish lists. So always a good time. This is a bunch of books I gathered in, in different thrift stores at different times. Uh, so without further ado, let's get to the haul. So the first book I've got here is this one. It's Death on the Canal, and this is by Anya de, ya de Jaeger. De Jaeger? De Jaeger is the right way of saying it. Um, this is a kind of like a thriller detective novel, so it says a Lottie Meerman mystery. And if you can see there by the cover, it is set in Amsterdam. It is kind of a detective thriller series with a Dutch um, detective. And I love sort of Agatha Christie and Sherlock Holmes and, and a good murder mystery thriller. Um, and I adore Amsterdam, one of my favourite, if not my favourite places in the world. So, well, maybe Paris and Amsterdam. Um, but I love it. Um, anything set in Amsterdam, very cool cover. This has kind of been on my kind of wish list because um, I was looking for more things that were sort of Amsterdam related to, to read. And this was one of the things that was on the list. And then I found it in the charity shop for a pound. So I was very happy with that. Then the next one, again, this, I cannot believe I found this. So this is 50-50 by Steve Kavanagh. And this book, so I've been watching a TV show here in um, the UK that's called Between the Covers. And it's basically a book club show where they talk about some uh, newish releases. Um, they have like some guests on, talk about their favorite books. Uh, it's basically... A book club but just on TV you're watching other people have a lovely book club discussion of course um, it is something that I love and they were actually talking about this book 5050 um, by Stephen Kavanagh sorry Steve Kavanagh um, and it's basically a trial it's kind of a, a trial book but it's two sisters and there was a murder and each sister is blaming the other one for it um, and apparently there's a like a third voice in the novel of clearly the one that is the killer but you don't know up until the end who the killer is and it sounded really really good when they were talking about it i don't usually buy courtroom dramas i do love like i said detective novels but generally courtroom drama is not my thing but this just sounded so good great cover as well and like the premise sounded really really good and i was like oh i need to you know i need to go to waterstones whatever and buy it and i was in the charity shop and i found it for two pounds i was really really excited so i was like this is great i can try it bit of a new genre for me sounds really good well excited um, then the next one, I, okay, I could not believe I find this in my local Oxfam store. So have a look at that magnificent cover. Um, this gorgeous, gorgeous edition of, oh, is that upside down? The Haunting of Hill House. I can't see in the camera. The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. But I love, 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 love this edition. It is so very, very pretty. Um, it's beautiful on the inside as well. It's kind of got these like dark shadows to the pages. And Guillermo del Toro, who is one of my favorite filmmakers, um, he's got an introduction in here. So I was so excited. And this was $1.99 in the Oxfam store. I was just, I was so excited. Then... This book over here, Karen Slaughter's Triptych. Now, I don't actually, can't even remember what this was about. Again, this is a detective called out, you can tell I was in the mood for kind of murder mystery type stuff. And they called out to a, a notorious murder scene. And then, oh, then there's more killings. So they might be kind of copycat or killings. Now, I've never read anything Karen Slaughter, but a lot of people have said that I would enjoy it. Um, I know a lot of people do enjoy it. I think Kayla from Books and Lala likes some, some Karen Slaughter. So I thought, it sounded really good. The cover was was kind of cool. I like the sort of shards of glass and the blood. I like all that. It just sounded really good. And I'll be honest, I'm not going to be great with um, like the plots on these detective books because I don't like really knowing much of the plot before going in. So I don't really deliberately read it. But yeah, Karen Slaughter. I'm going to try it. I'll tell you what I think. Then the next one. Oh my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> Stephen King's Revival. Um... I, first of all, that is just one of the most beautiful covers. I have a thing for carnival horror. Anything that's horrific that's set at a carnival is, is totally my jam. I'm actually going to do a whole kind of series on my channel. I don't know if I'll be doing it this month or next month. It might actually be a nice, yeah, it might be a nice January thing. But basically, 
it's carnival, um, carnival-esque horror. So fun fair, carnival. I've got a lot of books um, that are set at carnivals and fun fairs. And I love it. Like I said, it's one of my favorite genres. And I cannot believe I found good old 199 Stephen King revival. So excited. Then this one, again, you can tell I was in a proper thriller mood. This is Hold Your Breath uh, by P.B. P. Walter. Um, and again, this is a thriller. And it basically says, Kitty Marchland has always known that her family aren't like others, but when her father uproots them to a remote cottage in the woods, she realizes that her parents are keeping secrets from her, secrets that could unravel everything. Da -da um, again, this was kind of, this was actually on my wish list. Um, I think it was on my Amazon wish list. And I found this, 199 Oxfam. I had to get it, sounds amazing. And then the next book, I'm laughing because this book was just a purely cover fun purchase because I just fell in love with this cover, Aberyst with Mon Amour. I think it's like a detective novel as well. At something, it says schoolboys are disappearing all over Aberystwyth and nobody knows why. Louis Knight, the town's private investigator, has, um, soon realizes that it's going to be going to take more than a double, triple from, oh God, I can't even read that, from a philosopher and an ice cream seller to help him figure out what's happening to these boys. Okay, that, no, I'm sorry, that was very confusing, but basically it's like a, a detective novel again. Um, and it kind of reminds me of those kind of old school, and I love those kind of pulp noir detective um, novels. And I just, I just love the cover. I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. So hopefully this will be a good thriller, um, but just awesome cover. Then, talking about good thrillers, The Chalk Man by CJ Tudor. Again, it says, wonderfully creepy, like a cold blade on the back of your neck. Um, this is a book that, again, <laughs> I get a lot of my thriller recommendations from Kayla, Books at Lala, um, and, and Kayla does some amazing um, thriller and dark. We, we have similar tastes and kind of dark, weird fiction. And then um, the more I'm getting into thrillers, I'm kind of taking her recommendations, and she loves this book. So that's all I need to know. Um, yeah, not uh, none of us have ever agreed on the exact beginning. Was it when we started drawing the chalk figures or when they started to appear on their own? Was it a terrible accident or when they found the first body? Okay, that sounds really good. So I'm just, I'm just going with that. Um, and then again, like I was talking about my, uh, my carnival, Affair, Love, sorry, that's very shiny, gorgeous cover. I don't know if you can see that. Dean Coots, The Fun House. Um, again, this is a horror set in a carnival, uh, endlessly shifting from town to town, providing thrills and magic for the new set of kids every week. And the biggest, most popular attraction is The Fun House, the ghoulish creep show full of ghosts and skeletons and rattling chains that make believe terror. But I think the terror might be real. So isn't that gorgeous, that cover as well? Again, this is going to go in my kind of fair carnival horror series video top I'm doing and then this is the last one so I bought this actually for Halloween so I've, I've had these stocked up for quite a while um, as a treat to myself this is Dracula uh, Dracula's heir and it's an interactive mystery and <laughs> it's the coolest thing I mean I'm, I'm assuming this is supposed to be a children's book but you know I am like fight growing up really what is adulting who knows um, and it's just a lot of fun. There's like interactive things you pull out. Um, and yeah, I saw this in the window display for one of the charity shops and I was like, this is my Halloween gift to myself. I must have it because it's just beautiful and just gorgeous. Um, and that is it. That is my haul. Let me know if you've read any of these, um, if you have what you thought of them. Uh, let me know what you're hauling um, and I will speak to you all again very soon. Stay well and safe. Thank you for watching. Bye.